Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create the key pair that we will use to SSH into our EC2 instance. To create the key pair in the management console, type EC2 in the search box and select EC2 under services. On the EC2 dashboard on the left side, scroll down. Under network and security, select key pairs. Then click create key pair. Give your key pair a name. Once you've given your key pair a name, the key pair type is going to be RSA and scroll down. Under private key file format, select PEM and click create key pair. We have successfully created the key pair and you can see it here. When you create a key pair, two keys will be generated for you, a public key and a private key. The key you see in the management console is the public key and the key that was downloaded to your computer. If you look down here, you see this key that was downloaded to my computer. This is the private key. In case if you don't see this file in the lower left hand corner of your computer, the file will be stored in the downloads directory on your computer. For example, if I right click here and click show in folder, here you will see that the file is in my downloads directory. So if you don't see this file in the lower left hand on your computer, go to your downloads directory and you will see it there. This is our private key. Now that we have created the key pair, next I want you to open PowerShell on your computer. I'm going to type PowerShell in the search box. Once you see the PowerShell app, select it. When you open PowerShell on your computer, notice the directory that PowerShell is opening to. For example, on my computer, PowerShell is opening to the C drive. And in the C drive, there is a folder called users. And in the folder called users, there's another folder called admin. In this admin folder, this is where PowerShell is opening to on my computer. So basically what I'm trying to say is, Whatever directory you see here, that is the directory that PowerShell is opening to on your computer. Since PowerShell always open to this directory, we will move our private key pair into this directory. So when we run our commands later on to SSH into our EC2 instance, our key pair will already be in the same directory we run our SSH command from. To move the private key into the home directory, let's go back to our downloads directory. And I'm going to dock this side by side. Next, let's right click on our private key here and click cut. Once you have cut the private key, we will go to the same directory where PowerShell opens to. So whatever directory you see in your PowerShell terminal, go to that directory. To go to the directory where PowerShell is opening to on my computer, I'm going to select C. So here you see C. That's why I've select C and it says on the C drive, there is a folder called users. So here, this is the folder called users. I'll select it. And in the users folder, there's another folder called admin. So here you can see the admin folder. I'm going to double click it to go into it. And in this admin folder, this is where we want to paste our private key pair. To paste your private key pair in this directory, right click anywhere in here. Then select paste. And there you go. I've pasted the private key pair in the admins directory. So basically, the takeaway from this lecture is I want you to create a key pair in the management console. When you create a key pair, two keys will be generated the public key and the private key. The key that was downloaded to your computer is the private key. I want you to move that key pair from the downloads directory on your computer into the same directory that your PowerShell terminal opens to. That is all you need to do in this lecture. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.